G'day everyone and welcome back to episode 3 of our Banished Adventure. Well, we're down over the back of the hill in our sort of gully where there was a little flat patch that I've flattened out a bit more. And remember in the last episode we were getting ready for cows. We were collecting hay. I still haven't collected at all, but I've got a goodly portion in the old tank over here. Uh, 144,210 litres of hay. Um, yeah, so... There's more hay up on top of the hill that I need to collect. But I thought and I, we'd get the cows. Um, so, yeah, I flattened a little bit of area here. Um, just to give ourselves a bit more flat room. Uh, put a bit of hedge to mark out our border. Just threw some shrubberies down to mark out the edge. Spruce it up a bit. So, this area has been mowed. Um, and then I just painted grass back in um, because I'm going to put the coos in. Um, so I think if we press R here, here we go. Now, normally I run with um, uh, Holstein, Frisians, Holstein Frisians. Um, but I was thinking this time I might run with uh, Swiss, being as it's quite hilly here. Or, you know, the, the Swiss cows are probably used to being up on the hilly slopes, in theory. <laughs> so um, it's the big bucks to get the the full, the ready, the cows that are ready. But um, and we don't have any transport, um, so we've got sixty five thousand one hundred twenty three in the bank. And I spent some money on putting down this cow pen. I think that was only a hundred bucks. I'm trying to think if I spent money on anything else. Nothing springs to mind. But I did have less money than that before, but I got a bit extra because I um, scrounged around um, the property uh, and found there were a few more trees just right on the very edge, the southern edge of my boundary that were just with inside that I could cut down and there were a couple of pines that I'd left near the caravan and I thought I need all the money I can get I'm taking them down and I got the contractors to come in and pay the 500 bucks to get them, take that away and from wood on hard economy I cut them into as many as I could into nine meter lengths and um, I made 17,910 from the sold timber as I said I took the 500 fee off so let's get some coos now i think we'll get some brown swiss how many can we manage now we're not going to get this is the temporary grazing pasture pen so it's only a hundred dollar pen or 100 pounds in this case uh let's get 10 to start with um and then i can add more in we'll see so buy plus i'm paying a thousand bucks for um the delivery there they are the ladies have arrived so i've already loaded up some hay from the wagon and some water from the tanker well, let's have a look and see how f oh yeah the water is actually full but they can take quite a bit more uh in terms of hay here we are. So it's only part way effective, 80%, which, you know, it's going to have to be it um, until we can make TMR. Um, and I might want to do that in a building, actually, rather than use a mixer wagon, um, trying to drop it down from that silo and get the proportions right. But yeah, this is this is a mod that shows me. There's a mod that shows me how much they're gonna use, and so at the moment, six thousand three hundred and yearly that much for the ten cows. Now the milk should be collectible from about here somewhere. I can turn the markers on later. I've got that tanker, but I'm also thinking of maybe getting another tanker. Um, we could fill up the hay, I suppose. Oh. 
we've um we've still like i said we've still got some more grass work to do if i show you around we'll put this hedge in we've got this little cow pen but i think we've got enough room here for another one of these now these will hold 25 head of cattle um but we've got room for another little pen so we could have quite a few but i mean ideally once i have the money what i'd really like to do is um to better have a cow barn nice cow barn that i can put straw in and get the manure and the slurry from as well so i've done put a bit of hedging here as well tidied it up and down, down that edge and <laughs> i bought i put in a bit of fencing <laughs> You know, remember when the tanker slid down off that corner there? I thought, well, I'm not going to let that happen again. So I just fenced off that corner. Um, and I was up on the... Yeah, my fuel's getting really low. I think as well as... Yeah, I'm going to have to... Uh, hmm, just trying to think of my to-buy list. I, I want my f fuel on the farm. I don't want to have to... Um, see, I've got more hay up here sitting around yeah I want my f and I've left my wind row up here a bit overcast today but still get a good view from up on top of here um before I forget big shout out to the milk that hen channel milk that hen Phil from milk that hen has decided to join me on this crazy adventure so I have tagged him in um the uh, description in my previous um, episode so if you haven't seen it already um, go and check out Phil's episodes um, he's already got a couple out and they're great they're really good and it was just such a such fun for me to see um, the way someone else tackles the exact same plot and his sort of preparatory landscapey things like I'd done, I'd built that cave and stuff like that. that and the way he's landscaped and, and made his little, a little entrance into the farm and his, and anyway, you gotta go and see it to see his, the accommodations he starts with and just the way he's um, landscaped it out. Oh yes, <laughs> I put a little bit of fencing here just to say, oh, I think that's as far as I wanna mow at the moment. I mean, I might, this is like the, the height of our hill we, and, and the corner of our plot. So I thought that was a good spot to put a, a bit, a fence. Um, and it does have collisions, I hope. <laughs> so if we have a cropper, we'll hit it. <laughs> um, and it'll, it'll slow us down. Because <laughs> I have found on here that once you get going, it's hard to stop. I found that actually with this, um, when I was putting the water into the cows and taking um, that water tanker, which you already know is very heavy when it's full of 10,000 litres and it runs away. Um, with that pushing behind me, going down the hill to <laughs> water the, the cows, it was really pushing me and um, I found it very hard to brake. The brakes were really quite unresponsive and <laughs> wanted to slide me out wide and. I end up ramming into the fence of the cow yard. So, <laughs> um, yeah, there's a few issues with these hills. <laughs> so what I'm thinking as well as um, I might, um, if I can, if my money can stretch to it, so I'm trying to be cautious here. I need to be frugal, like our friends doing the uh, Frugal Millionaire Challenge. Shout out to those guys. Crusto's doing another challenge. Um, and I know Northern Farm Sim Guy and my mate uh, Farmer Mike have joined them, joined Crustu on the um, Frugal Millionaire Challenge set on uh, Mazovia uh, map in Poland and um, looks brilliant what they're doing. That's on Hard Economy as well and um, plenty of challenges and it's a beautiful map. Beautiful map. Um, so yeah, if anyone wants to join me on here uh, um, I know I was talking to another um, youtuber friend um, he's interested but he's he's busy with an, some other series stuff uh, that he wants to get wrapped up first which is perfectly sensible 
um, but he would quite like to have a go at it as well. But if there's anyone else out there, if you want to have a go at, at home, by all means, of course, there's no one stopping you. Um, in fact, um, there was a message in the comments on my last episode from Gamer Joy Josh who said that back in the early days of him playing on FS, um, he and some mates were doing a multiplayer on this map and that Josh had was working on these very hills. And he spent four years mowing, <laughs> mowing these treacherous slopes so <laughs> yeah so have a go get on you know if you've got um console or a pc and you've got the game you want to try this challenge out see how you go what you can do with these mega hilly um plots um, the um basic outline um or conditions or whatever they're not really rules they're just sort of a, outline for the adventure that they're in that should be in the description so yeah have a go on your console i've met you know i tried to think of the console players by saying that the fuel uh, limit should be set the fuel usage rather should be set to low because you guys can't have store deliveries um even though like i do pay um for the store deliveries it's not free it's a 2.5 percent but but when you when you're on console you, you obviously you're taking um, into consideration not just the fuel usage of driving away to the store and back again which would certainly add up but also the wear and tear in your vehicle and also the time factor so it's p perfectly reasonable that you should have the lowest setting on fuel usage so um, not sure what other conditions I could make that would be level the playing field out a bit more um, yeah there we go that's window road the rest of that oh there's this little patch down here it's quite steep this bit it's a bit patchy the mowing some of it um i think i probably should go sideways so yeah what else can i say uh, So my thoughts are, we need to work towards, obviously we need to word, work towards TMR for the cows to improve the input. Now, I have a variety of options at my disposal for what to do with the milk. There's some rather good um, milk production things you know, outside of standard dairy things. Um, there's a, an inexpensive dairy production, um, not the cheaty version, but the standard version of Disturbed Simulations um, Mini Dairy, which, you know, fits into a, is in, <laughs> built into the back of a shipping container. And, and you can make um, dairy products, cheese and butter and whatnot out of that. So that's a thought. Um, small footprint, and reasonable price. Um, what else have we got? There's also, um, it's a bit more expensive, but I would like eventually um, to use the bottled milk factory because that is also a really good way of generating some decent income from the milk. And also, I'd like to go back to the um, aged cheese, um, maybe the yogurt part of it, but definitely the aged cheese production that came out recently that I was running on um, towards the end there on my calm lands, um, on the calm lands challenge. I'm not even pressing the accelerator here, <laughs> it's just running away. Okay, so um, yeah. I'd quite like to get that down. It's just generating enough income. Um, and I'm not equipped yet to handle pallets, etc. And what I should do here, I need to. I probably need to make myself a bit more space. I notice, I think I'm going to have a little bit more space for equipment 
down by those small pastures we'll see how we go um, I might put a fuel tank down there don't know I'm going to need one soon you can see the fuel's getting down and running to the the um, dealership all the way from here to get fuel is not going to be very cost effective as you can imagine so yeah ah oh, had a bit of a mishap when I was doing my landscaping I managed to um, wipe out a bit of a corner on my little field here I have reflected since you know I said I said I think in a previous episode um, <coughs> that um, I regretted putting wheat in but but upon reflection hopefully one can always hope that by the time this is ready uh, in the next calendar year I'm trying to take this slow um, that I um, could use the straw could use the straw and with this uh, little side this I say little but it's actually got a fantastic capacity but it's very useful this uh, silo I can um, turn straw I believe into silage uh, as well and also we can um, put it in a TMR mix and eventually down the line we will be able to use it for bedding when we can get a cow shed that takes um, now I'm going to go on ahead and just collect the rest of this um, hay up and then I'm kind of thinking that I need to possibly buy another tanker that lives down at the dairy, get a fuel bowser as well, um, and also cut some fields. Uh, I, I need to get do some mega ploughing sessions and probably make this section here, and for the moment up the, up the top as well into um, uh, grass fields. Um, and then, sorry about any background noise. <laughs> In the living room. Um, yeah. So yeah, I need to put down, and in, in the space that I can work on. I think I'll leave these really steep slopes. As oh, he's not picking it up. I'm missing the pile. Uh, leave these really steep slopes um, as. Um, meadow to regrow and put proper grass fields um, elsewhere. anyway guys uh, leave me leave it me to uh, pick up this hay and I'll, I'll come back later and um, we'll see what else I've been doing bye right oh picked up the last of the hay Let's take a run at the <laughs> down this hill uh, as you can see there's a there's a patch more oh I've still got the thing there we go <laughs> no wonder it was a bit of a drag I still had the catcher down Whoa! I've had a, a couple of experiences coming down there a bit too fast and uh, the uh, nearly rolled the truck the um, full for forage wagon Wales, wags like the tail on a dog it's <laughs> just like ooh, really get up to speed wobbles so um, we've passed oh, an hour's gone past since I think I put the cows in or at least the first hour has kind of ticked over so I've actually um, started to get some milk I was starting to worry there but but we've actually uh, got, yeah, a, a mighty eight litres. <laughs> oh, why am I pulling in there? It's full up. Oh, no, it'll take a little tiddly bit. So we'll put it in, get it topped up. Yeah, so here we go. Oh, rough driving, dude. Okay, Ooh. So, now we've picked up the last of that hay for the moment. And 
left some scanty, well, some awkward bits on the side of the hill, I guess. We can't, it's too cheaty to go and mow this again. So I painted grass back down again. So I'm not going to be doing that. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking there's enough space just about here for, maybe for, possibly for a building to make TMR. I don't know. You're gonna, a lot of them you've got to drive in and drive out. Oh, wow, the fuel's getting low. I don't normally let the fuel get this low. Uh, I mean, at the moment, we're keeping our equipment up here. Should we have the fuel bowser up here? Well, I'm going to need some more fuel because my next plan is to start to make some grass fields so we can maximize our um, production for the cows. Now, let's have a look. I want a little bit of a scooch a little bit of room here and get too close. So I think I'm gonna, what I might do is record a course of ploughing and because that's going to take a long time to do and I'm not sure how high up see mowing's not too much of a problem but it might struggle too high up the slope with the plough let's have a look so yep okay so let's bring it up now, oh let's do an old course on it, we want to create a new course, so press the record button, and if remember on course play it actually marks the course out from the centre of your vehicle, so not from the width of your implement. But that's okay, because we're eventually it'll recognise it as a field, it'll be okay. He says, <laughs> it to have a bit of, hurt to have a bit of a margin. So this is going at a decent pace, but it is going to take me a while, 11 kilometers an hour. Mm. Do you really want to watch me mark all this out? I don't know. <laughs> i tell you what. I'll get, I'll, uh, I'll stop the recording, otherwise I could just record it in silence and edit it out later, but I'll stop the recording and I'll, I'll come back when we've, we've marked out the field. Right, I've um, made out the shape of the field, let me show you, there it is there, so uh, you can see it. Yeah, I don't need that one anymore. Hang on a minute. How do we get to that? That was... What was that from? Oh, that was from a... Oh. Let's actually save that from a test map. Um, yeah, let's delete that one because that's completely irrelevant. Um, so you can see it compared to this fella here. Um, so we could rename that... Um, Grass Meadow 1, uh, we'll call that one. So that's going to be that. And um, we I'll just say before I go and do any more, I tried to flatten a little bit more space in the hopes that I can tuck a fuel bowser in here that hopefully I can get to with my vehicle but I won't crash into it later on down the line we can always move it and I realize I need my front weight I'm going to be doing some plowing okay so let's go for the tried and true favorite uh, the tools this one I do have a there is a cheaper one 
gravity fed one but this one I've just really like it I like the look of it and it's always worked really well for me so I'm gonna try it here on this corner and hope that I don't bump into it like I say we can always move it later well that seems all right I didn't do anything weird to the ground it is a bit close to this edge and we may have to take even more you can see I chipped the piece off the field again <laughs> we may have to take even more off but um, at least we can get some fuel now because um, if you look in the truck that is low I don't normally let my vehicles get that low so we spent two and a half grand on the fuel bowser how much fuel do you think we're gonna incur costs for fuel that's pretty good 140 so we're on normal fuel usage um, that's not too bad but it hasn't got I guess as big a tank as um, a lot of tractors and trucks and stuff so yeah I'm gonna um, there's not really another task I can do until this is plowed I don't have another vehicle I can do things in um, I'm gonna set up a course um, on here and get him going oh, let's see let's create a job here we go um, that's not true is it what's the working width on this plow it's not 1.8 meters let's have a look plows it is 5.2 okay let's try that again create job I said it was 5.2 okay let's do four headlands yeah let's generate yep doing the up and downs it seems sensible enough uh, that icon down there you can see with the store basket yeah that's where my deliveries have been being dropped at the moment which is fine I don't think that interferes at all with fields um okay so he's going to start close to where he is let's see there he goes off with a fuel tank of a full tank of petrol oh there's rain on the way how much are we going to get done of this we're still on the first day of september we've had the august but two day months um at the moment let's have a look at that weather forecast okay okay oh well the rain's not too late 2100 hours so not till nine o'clock this evening in theory <laughs> if it doesn't come early oh wow they're predicting rain for tomorrow as well next is quite a bit of rainy weather on the way so we'll see how that goes don't really want to be plowing in the rain so you can see there's quite a lot of slope oh there's a lady worker doing um yeah so it'll be it's doing a steady 11 kilometers an hour and I even found when i was cutting it it was only getting down to 10 or so um, i'm not sure how the worker will go doing these headlands oh, this bit let's see it's, it's got some good talk this oh, see look at that isn't that awesome <laughs> down to 10 k's for a 200 horsepower unimog. Oh no, nine. I spoke too soon. Eight, nine, eight, nine. Still. Oh, seven, six. Oh, I did speak too soon. Four. I even saw a three there. But at least once the headlands are done, it's going to go not on the up and downs like this is going to go the longer way across the face of the hill so hopefully that won't be so bad but yeah this is well at least it'll go faster going downhill and yeah see sideways no problem so we're going to get pretty slow coming up that slope yeah all right guys we'll leave them to get on with it and um 
We'll see you later. I'll, uh, I'll drop back in when this is done, I guess, and talk about what happens next. <laughs> Hi guys, it's uh, the 2nd of September. Oh, and you join me on a miserable and rainy start to the day down here with the coos. Hey, va. Uh, it was a long day, the 1st of September. And I mean, real life hours that were put in to. <laughs> it so, took so long to get a field cut and limed fertilizer and seeded. Oh my. Hours and hours of actual, you know, playing at times one speed. It really took ages and I played until, you know, until it was starting to get dark. So, <laughs> I'll take you up there and show you. But, um, I can, I'm a bit loath to get out of the truck because it's raining, but we'll get out. We'll get out. We'll get a bit soggy. So, the coos, here they are. Look at them. I added five more cows um, to bring it up, to herd up to 15 and overnight. We can see that there's about 2,000 litres of milk produced, which is fabulous. So, and we are on 36,738 for the money. Um, so, I would be on more, but yeah, I bought five more cows. And as well, um, I'm going to run up, I'm going to leave the truck there while well, I think about what to do. <laughs> Next, uh, okay. I've, I'm pretty sure I topped everything up with water here already. Yeah, topped all this up with water. Um, yeah, I put in some, yeah, spruced up my fences, <laughs> my fences to stop me running over the edge. Put a bit of sort of shrubbery and stuff around. Push this back about as far as it can go, um, to make more space for the equipment and, um, organize that a bit further back just to open this area up and when I've got a bit of money I'll put a shed in there. Um, now this is grass about 50% fertilized but um, yeah I think it it it's still patchy it's still patchy let me show you what I mean and it was um, patchy while I was working on it um, so this is it our big grass meadow I think going up the, so far up the hill isn't really worth it in a lot of ways. Now this is it after <laughs> I told a worker to roll it. The rollers, the, the workers, sorry, just, it's such a struggle. I mean, these corners are a standard thing. They often leave the corners off and you've got to go and tidy them up. But these stripes, they happened before when um, I was plowing. And then they happened when I was seeding and liming and everything else because of the slope that I think the equipment has some sort of slide and you can see it, how it follows the contours of the hill, particularly here, but also here and it's only sort of eases off. This is a more level area up here. So you don't get these gaps because everywhere else, I mean, it was doing everything to the width of the machine, but there's this drag effect from the hillside, even with the sturdy Unimog on. And um, watching um, Phil from Milk That Hen and the struggles he's had and the slide and the slippage and stuff like that. Yeah, I think some of it's not worth it. I think, I, think, I mean, certainly the challenge was to try and... I don't think it, we need to try and use... Or I need to try and use all the land necessarily. But I know I've still got a section up the top here that is usable, that's not a deadly slope. I'm sort of just missing sections that are going to be too steep, like this along here, this area. You can count that out. And obviously bits in behind here in this corner. So it's just making use of what, I've, what we've got um, so if you are giving the challenge a go, don't feel you need feel the need necessarily to take on everything. I think the challenge will be to work do do what you can with what you've got, wherever way you see fit, and then 
you will want to get the next block and the blocks on here aren't expensive as we know um, that yeah they go for 85 which is pretty reasonable um, and then move on to that so but anyway um, yeah so I kind of I should have just sucked it up and just kept a big part of this steeper slope here just as meadow grass and made the decent field along here and I don't know how bothered I can be about going up and trying to fix those bits that the roller didn't get. Um, I did the fertilizing myself and all that got done and then the lining, so that's fine. Um, so yeah, we, we, we picked up a set of rollers, um, nails up at the store um, in the parts department. Um, Rusty's cousin, he had this set for me, much cheaper. Uh, where's the info comes up if I get caught. there you go it's a, a, some sort of um, Eastern European or Central European brand um, but they performed really well the Unimog um, had no trouble with them it went along at a good rate I think you get up to about 15 kilometers an hour with them so yeah they chugged along very nicely really nice set of rollers um, and not expensive compared to the stuff I was looking at before oh, it's so dear. So yeah, so this, now I've got the rollers, I can roll this little wheat field. Um, so that's doable. But also, I'm seriously thinking um, that we already get into, we, I say, well, <laughs> me I mean, get into my first production and put down the aged cheese factory. I've only got 2,000 litres of milk, but I could get it in there and I could well let's see um, on the price pricing index uh, milk okay current value of the milk I have at the farm shop so it's a bit over 1500 um, so the price is 778 oh 778 max price 763 so actually October's a bit but anyway I don't like the idea of just me personally you can play it how you like the idea of storing up lots of milk because it would just go mank in fact I've got two mods installed but not enabled that um, would make it more realistic for the milk one is the um, realistic milking times which means you, you don't get your milk until that early morning milk and then the late afternoon milk um and and there's also another one which is like automatic milk sales which represents like every day the milk tanker comes to your farm fills up moves on to the next farm um like happens in real life you don't actually hold on to the milk very long yourself um unless you're a dairy that is actually like has its own productions makes its own cheese or um bottled milk or whatever um farm products <laughs> so yeah i um, although it's not much i could get that into the ch aged cheese factory it cost me a lot of my money um but i'd already be making possibly double what that is off the same amount double that hopefully so and the thing is is we've been discovering as we play this is that mistakes are made <laughs> particularly I don't know about you guys but you find that when you start on a new map and particularly if it's a challenge one where you're starting from not much or a challenge this is a more about a, la a challenge of landscape with hard economy um, is what how do I tackle it how do I approach it what do I do what do I don't don't do that kind of thing um, so I think otherwise I'm going to be pondering whether or not to turn on the automatic milk sales and it'll be just a matter of um, yeah, keeping keeping up with the cows and the things and there may I may have to skip some days or months like that but I'm thinking if I turn on the aged milk, aged cheese factory at least you know I'll, I'll pop in and and every now and then I'll have to do something each day just to keep everything going. 
even though my opportunities to do other work might start to get a bit limited but some money will start to come in so, and I may um, um, I'll probably although some people might question the realism I like to use an auto load trailer because um, I'm absolutely hopeless at loading pallets and as other people have pointed out the pallet physics in this game isn't really true to life um, but anyway that that's not the point the point is I'm rubbish at it so I might get a small auto load trailer but the point is that I would still have to take the aged cheese all the way down there to sell and it may not sell at the farm shop I think I might have to put in a seller container in order to sell it because it's a modded product so I may even put it on automatic sale and take that cut so what should we do should we put in the aged cheese got some rolling to do got to roll that wheat field and maybe fix up those patches but I tell you what let's fast forward a bit of time it's chucking it down with rain I'll come back to you when there's some well let's see with the weather forecast it's looking a bit mank at the moment uh, it's not getting much better it's cloudy 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 yeah no sunshine I miss that sunshine Gee. anyway enough of this rain let's uh, I'll come back and um, we'll see what's happened when the rain stops. <laughs> yep. Right. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep those rolling, rolling. Mm hmm. Well, rolling this little wheat field. I've made a decision. We can see by the money. <laughs> ah, it kind of gives the game away. Right. Great little set of rollers, as I said before. Yeah, I haven't done those strips there yet. I'm going to go back and do them. We'll leave the rollers there. But let's do something fun. Oh, ooh, ooh, sorry. No. Still. <laughs> it takes a while, doesn't it? Oh, you can see there's some fence around the top of this cliffy bit too. I sort of concealed the fence in shrubbery. Because <laughs> the fence has got collisions, but the shrubs don't. Okay. There it is. We are the cheese makers. We're getting cheesy. Let's see. Mmm. Thank you very much. Doing well, ladies. Quick. Ah, oh, no! Thought I'd left enough of a gap, but ah, oh, no! Ah, oh, no! It gets worse! <laughs> Gee! Rough as guts, as they say down under. Okay. Where's the, where's the trigger? Come on. Oh, what am I doing? Ah, oh, what a duffer. Sorry, guys. <laughs> didn't even load any milk in there oh man I'm just so excited about the prospect of our own little cheese factory oh, it won't work if you don't put milk in it Sarge let's see where's that trigger where are you I know you're here somewhere oh come on I know it's here why is it this tanker takes milk, doesn't it? I'm sure it takes milk. Ah, <sighs> hmm. Yum. Oh. Yeah, milk. Okay. I thought I was in the trigger. I must be darn close to it. Oh, I'm making a mess of this. Let's. <laughs> Let's go, let's turn on, um, let's turn on, 
the interactive zone markers to make sure I'm not at the wrong end. No, milk should be there. Come on. That don't look right. That should be picking it up. Oh. Oh. Alright, let's have a look. What's going on? I hope this isn't another case of the um, Unimog not being able to pick up on certain things. It certainly has no problem unloading water. Oh, did I have a trigger there for a sec? This is messy. Oh, start filling. Ah, I was expecting an icon. I think that's a problem. I should have had that up to start. Sorry guys, You're probably shouting at the screen. Do apologize. <laughs> ah, and I'm gonna have trouble getting past that. I'm looking over the fence. Ah, such entertainment. Oh, smash, bang, crash. Now, hey, Luigi. There we go. That won't take long to unload. Ka ching Okay, let's get out. Mm -mm. Okie dokie. Aged cheese. Activate. This process is really quite fast, actually. It's already got two litres of aged cheese. How do you get it old? <laughs> well, okay. So, yeah. That'll get through that pretty fast. And it'll be interesting to see how much that's worth. And it will spawn here. All right. I'll turn those zone markers back off. Save because we've plonked it down now. Well, guys, here we are with our makers of milk, our making of cheese, our wonder truck, and this is the end of this episode. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I will catch you in the next one. I'm off to do a bit more rolling um, and maybe plowing another field on top of the hill for grass. Um, things to do, things to do. But thank you so much for watching this episode, and I'll catch you in the next one.